Hi all, Ross here, Thomas Classical Modern. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick video seeing as we've got the opportunity on our piston rod fitting procedure. Uh, here we've got our pistons and rods laid out for the 1360 build that we're currently doing. These have all been balanced, ARP rod bolts fitted, rod housings resized if needed. Um, gudgeon pin uh, recesses have been checked as well. They're all perfectly on size. We've just done a little bit of prep work now as we like to before fitting the pistons to the rods in so much as we have marked all of the rods with a mark to line up to show the front of the engine. And we have also marked the pistons to show the same. Reason we do that and we get everything laid out exactly this way is you don't have an awful lot of time once you get these rod ends heated to push the good jump in through. The last thing you want to be doing is picking up rods and going which is front, which is back, etc, etc. A little bit of time and effort is all it takes and it makes the job so much simpler. So I will now take these over to our rig and show you how we go about fitting them. Okay, so uh, we are now ready to go with fitting these pistons to the rods. One thing that you have to be absolutely certain of when you're doing things in this manner is that the gudgeon pin is a very nice, easy sliding fit through the piston. You do not want to be fighting that gudgeon pin as you're trying to do it in the rig. Um, what what we do is obviously piston is fully cleaned brake cleaner compressed air etc etc same with the gudgeon pin and make sure every single one of them is a nice fit in the piston itself right the way through just makes things less of a battle when you come to actually fitting it up in the rig i'll just show you now how we set things up in the rig Okay, so this is our uh, very simple rig that we made up ooh, a good good while back now, in all honesty. Um, just a straightforward piece of box section. These are two turn pins, believe it or not, they are um, upper arm pins off a of mini. And just a very simple nut and bolt fixture with a washer, height adjustable, depth adjustable, that's all you need. And it's just clamped down to a workbench so it can't move anywhere. Again, the last thing you want when you're doing something like this is things moving all over the place. We take the, rock, the piston, uh, it sits up against the fixture just like so. And then the rod will be dropped in this gap here, just like so when it's heated. Piston gudgeon pin literally pushes through and stops up against the stop there. How we have this set is so that the gudgeon pin itself is stuck proud this side and it's recessed that side. The reason we do that is we can push this pin all the way into the stop. We hold the, good, the rod up against the back of the piston. When that cools in literally seconds, we can drag that away and that gudgeon pin will be set exactly central of the piston, which is where we want it in this instance. These are the absolutely brilliant Calver ST pistons that we use these in probably, I would say 99% of our builds nowadays. Excellent piston, excellent quality, uh, very easy to modify as well, uh, which we don't have to do in this instance. Uh, however, Keith has modified plenty of these for us, so has AC Dodd. You can custom dish these, trim the the uh, the uh, crown height if we need to. Very, very versatile piston. So this is cylinder one. This is the front of the engine. This is cylinder one conrod. This is the front of the engine. This flat side goes to number one, which is exactly where my black mark is. Just makes it nice and quick and easy to pick these rods up and drop them into situ, which as you will see, when we run through the procedure of doing it, takes very, very little time 
and it can go wrong very quickly. Okay, so this is the uh, tool that we use for warming these rods up. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, knock this together in 10 minutes. It's more of a safety thing more than anything else to stop us knocking these burners over, etc, etc. Uh, but long story short, what we do, fire both of these burners up and the rod is then passed nice and evenly through the flame until we get it to the right temperature. How do we get it to the right temperature? We use a temple stick. Uh, fantastic little tool that I found out about from um, a friend of mine who uh, uses a very, very similar setup uh, for fitting these pistons and rods. How this works is that material on the end of there will only melt at, in this instance, 250 degrees C. Lots of people work to colours, straw colour, etc, etc. We find this is absolutely perfect, um, especially if you're not quite sure. The last thing you want to do is get these too hot. It can affect the sizing uh, of the small end. We know using this system, generally a cold rod, and it is freezing in you, uh, a cold rod will take about 40 to 50 seconds passing through those flames to get this to the right temperature to melt to allow us to slide the rod the gudgeon pin through the little end very easily and that is all it takes so i will just run through actually doing one in real time um, and then i will uh, i will come back and show you what we do after that There we have judge and pin center eyes in the piston. We just pop that to one side now as well. Okay, so there we go. That's all four now fitted to pistons. They we left now overnight to cool down, uh, only because it is now ooh, five, quarter to five at night. Okay, so I think we'll leave that there now, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, just a little further insight into how we do things here. Hope it helped you. Um, as I say, it's by no means a, a sort of instructional video. It's just a note of how we do things so you can see for yourself. Uh, the next video now we'll take care of checking the ring gaps and we'll probably follow that on then with actually fitting the rings to the pistons 
just a couple of little operations, a couple of short videos. Hope you find it helpful. If you do, please like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.